Did you ever wonder how ordinary everyday objects work? Well, the reasons why even the simplest device like a jar opener does what it does will astonish you. Here to tell us all about it is magician, man of science, and all around fun guy, Bob Friedhofer, author of the Physics Lab and Magic Science series of books. So how does science affect our everyday lives? I mean, in ways that we don't even know, right? Absolutely. Ways we don't think about. Science we just don't is, think about it. Science is everywhere. No matter what you do, if it's turning on your television, if it's uh, getting in your car and starting it up, if it's just walking down the street, there's something about science every moment of the day. So you're going to show us some... Uh, Absolutely. You're going to reveal to us some things that yes. we may have not have thought about. And, but before I start, I, I wore this jacket and it's a lab coat. Is it okay with you if I get rid of it right now? I think now? it looks very appropriate, but if you'd like to get rid of it, get if rid I, of it. Okay, thanks. <clears throat> We're going to start off first by showing you something about air pressure. Air pressure is here with us every single day. Hopefully. Even though we, <laughs> hopefully, uh, otherwise we're in big trouble. Uh, we don't feel air pressure, we don't see it, but it really exists. One of the things that I do with a lot of the kids that I do programs for, I demonstrate how effective air pressure is, how strong it is. I ask them a question, what do they think will happen if I put this ruler underneath a new and then bang down on the ruler? Well, I get lots of uh, different answers. Yeah, I would say that it would rip the newspaper. Well, some people say that, some people say to go flying, some people say it will actually uh, break. Well, I tell them that we're going to be doing a real experiment. We ask a question, we come up with a bunch of hypotheses, a bunch of possible answers, and we find out what the real answer what is. What is the real answer? We're Should going to I find move? out in a second, if you would be kind enough. All right. So, as I bang down, on the air pressure, presses down with a force of about 15 pounds per square inch on every square inch of surface area. That's about one square inch. This entire surface area is well over 200 square inches. So 200, let's just call it 200 to make things easy. 200 times 15 is 3,000. So there's over 3,000 pounds of air pressing down on this newspaper. Something about inertia. Inertia uh, was defined by a guy by the name of Isaac Newton. Oh, yes, him. Yes, having nothing to do with a fig Newton. And we have boiled eggs. Hard boiled eggs resting on top of here. Now, if Newton's law of inertia, that's his first law of motion, holds true, what should happen is when I knock the cardboard tray out, the eggs should fall straight down into the glasses. And of course, if kids want to try this at home with their parents, do it over carpeting with raw eggs. It's much more fun yes. that way, much more exciting. But watch, all we do is we hit it on the eggs. Here's a trick that you can all do at home. It's pretty cool. A cup, some water. We pick up a very expensive magic wand. Okay, it's a clothespin. I wave it over the top, and the water disappears. Ta-da! Well, you're not impressed. I tell you what, I know what would impress you if I go like that. The water doesn't pour out, seems to vanish. I'm going to trap the water so it cannot escape. There it is, the water is trapped. It cannot get out. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. You want me to turn it over? Yes. Excuse me, you think I cheat? Excuse me, you think I'd lie? Yes. You think I'm stooped? Don't answer that. No, no. Thank you. Yes. And there it is. See, the water stays in. You're holding it. Oh, you want me to move my hand away? Yes. Okay, not a problem. There it is. Yes. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I misunderstood you. You want me to go like this? Not a problem. Oh. Pretty cool. <laughs> Look, on the count of three, we go one, two, three. This is a plastic drinking cup. It is not a glass. You can do this one at home. The glasses or the drinking cup is prepared in a very special way. We drill a hole in the bottom. No. The technical term for this in science, remember this please, very important to remember the science word, this is called a leak. 
You cover the leak with your thumb so nothing can get out. And later on, no air can get in. You then take a piece of paper. It could be tissue paper. It can't be uh, toilet tissue. That doesn't work. But it can. Uh, the best paper would be uh, an old postcard like this, perhaps, or maybe a new piece of newspaper or a typing paper. Place it on top. Hold your hand firmly on it like this. OK, I will. Thank you for asking. <laughs> and it stays that way because my finger's over the hole. But as soon as I remove my finger from the hole, air runs in, equalizing air pressure. Air pressure out here is much greater than the air pressure in the cup in the waterfalls. See, magic has so much to do with science. And the reason that I do these shows is to let people know that science is fun and worth studying. That without science, the world around us would not function, regardless of what people use it for. Most of the time, it's used for good things. Without it, we wouldn't have Jiffy Pop popcorn. You wouldn't have Game Boy, Nintendo. You wouldn't have VCRs, TV. You wouldn't have skateboards. <laughs>